Good morning, besties. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Sydney if you're new and this was gonna be a week in my life. My New Year's goal was, well, if you go look at my channel. I'm not consistent. That's the pinpoint we need to focus on. And so my New Year's goal, how I have my New Year's goals set up is I don't have one goal for like the new year. I made a vision board of like how I want to be at the end of the year and I went like they're kind of like not goals of just like aspects of myself that I want to be or have or whatever and then how I'm gonna get there is like each month I make new goals so in January one of my goals was to post once a week on YouTube and so today's Sunday like <laughs> we gotta get this video up but I tried to do I want to do weeks in my life because they're just like the videos I watch the most and my thing with that is I always thought I don't have the life I did say this in the intro I originally filmed but I don't have the life of like an influencer or like the people that I watch because I watch a lot of people who don't work like they're I shouldn't say don't work a lot of people who influencing influencing is like their full-time job content creation is their full-time job and so I I'm like my vlogs aren't gonna look like that obviously because I'm very busy I'm a full <laughs> starting to be a full-time student I have a full-time job I live with my parents but I feel like there's like a rise <sighs> whenever I talk to a camera or on my podcast I like pause a lot because I try to think about what I'm saying way too much but I feel like there's a rise in people wanting to watch relatable content and I feel like there's a rise in people saying that they want my ADHD brain can't right now relatable content and I saw a lot of people um, recently say they just like want vloggers and stuff who stay at home or talk in their house and they're not going and doing all these crazy things and I do watch a lot of youtubers that don't leave their house I guess like I don't need you to leave your house and do a million things and in my brain I feel for some reason that I need to do that to vlog so then all my vlogs I feel like are boring basically <clears throat> I don't ever want to share my goals for the whole year. I'm not going to ever share like my end goals and stuff, but I feel like my life's very hectic and so to vlog it right now is like not really, I just need to get better at picking up the camera and talking. So I have a few clips from this week, very short clips from this week. I'll insert them here. I think I only vlogged Monday and Tuesday morning. grocery haul. I just got home from the grocery store. Like I said, I don't know if I edited that out and of course my battery is going to die. I got these flowers because one of my New Year's goals or one of my goals for January was to buy myself flowers once a week when I bought groceries. So that ties into this. I bought the Bloom Superfood Latte Reishi Hot Chocolate. Um, they sell this at grocery stores now. I've bought Bloom stuff before it's a canadian brand it was on dragon's den i've never tried this flavor i've only i think tried the matcha and maybe one more i bought my parents hot dogs because they're having pizza and they're putting hot dogs on their pizza quinoa it's like a quinoa mixture it's a quinoa bulgur and wheat 
Um, lots of fiber, lots of protein. Those are my two goals for my meals. Then I bought rice cauliflower, cauliflower rice, that's the one I'm looking for. Green beans, skinny pop for a snack, tofu, um, fiber pasta, cottage cheese. I was gonna be dairy free for this month and that went out the window because protein. Plain Greek yogurt, marinara sauce, soy milk, almond milk, and bone broth. I bought that. It was $100. I went to the gym this morning. I did back and biceps. <clears throat> I went to the grocery store. I left Dylan's, got gas, went to the grocery store, and now I'm home. And we'll spend the rest of the day together. Welcome back. Yeah, today's just going to be a Sunday reset Sunday I always find the first week of the year is like challenge it's very challenging and a lot of people don't talk about that a lot of people are trying to start this brand new life and start all these brand new challenges and start all these brand new goals and I'm working towards them and like a lot of people kind of go in really strong but the first week is either gonna like the first few days are always going to be really easy because it's just like you're just trying new things but then like the more you do it you're like it, life gets in the way so i feel like i did do a lot of my goals i mean two of them i have to do no three four of them i have to do today <laughs> they're just like i have for, like a lot of goals for january but they're very like itsy bitsy like one is to buy myself flowers when I meal prep. One is to eat whole foods, healthy. One is to post on TikTok three times a day, have not done that. But the other thing is, but the thing is, it's my goal for January. Like, as long as I master that by the end of January, I feel like I accomplished my goal, you know? Like, if I just say, oh, I didn't post three times on TikTok, that goal's done. As long as by the end of January I post three times a day, I don't think that posting three times a day, this is the other thing, I don't think posting three times a day is going to necessarily help me grow that much. I feel like one time a day is good enough, but I think the main thing is I don't even, I'm not even good at posting one time a day. So I post three times a day as like a little challenge for myself, that's kind of why I did it. Um, one time a week on YouTube and then one podcast a week is kind of my thing. I've acupuncture like tucks in my ears and for some reason they're like itchy um what other goals did i have go to the gym three times a week which i've done and then i have to do like have to i want to do yoga slash pilates once a week which i need to do today my schedule last week was kind of off my schedule this week is gonna i'm like a little scared going into this week because i have i start school i start university i was in college for the past year and a half so community college last year and a half but my all my classes were asynchronous i was in part-time and it was online asynchronous and it was two classes every six weeks so i was in a cl two classes for six weeks it was asynchronous and i usually just scrammed scrammed rammed all my work in the last week and I did very well doing that so I just did that. I'm a little worried about how I'm gonna be going into university and I know it's gonna be a lot harder and I don't think that college or like my college experience really got me ready for university like I don't think like maybe a little but I feel like it's fairly easy. I'm taking three courses so it's not a full load but it's still considered full time three courses and I'm working full-time but my full-time job is like the hours are very good and it's five days a week and I get off every day at three we'll see how it goes so I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff done today before I start school tomorrow I only have one class tomorrow I have one class every so I have a class in the sorry my dad is being so loud because he's cleaning I have a class in the morning on Mondays and Wednesdays the same class it's a history class and then I have um Tuesday nights I have a psych class I believe yes and then on Wednesday nights I have a child and youth studies class which that's my major I'm getting a child and youth studies degree and I think we're gonna have a minor in psychology I think because basically with all the psychology classes you have to take 
in my degree I need so many psychology classes and then I need a few electives and basically if I take I think I need three electives like I took electives in college that transferred over so I only need three maybe but if two of those three are, I choose to be psych classes I get a psych minor I like psychology I think I'll probably do that I think it's interesting I uh, took my tree down and all my Christmas stuff yesterday because um, it was like the 12th day of Christmas and apparently that's good luck so my mom was trying it this year so I tried it been breaking out my skin has been breaking out because i'm getting my period i have a lot of issues with my period um i feel like i've talked about them on my channel before and i'm getting it i haven't got it yet um i have pmdd um you can look that up it's premenstrual disorder disorder and yeah it just it's not fun i'm gonna use this mask it's the pore ready purifying mud mask removes pore buildup and controls excess oil so my skin's dry right now but my skin's always dry but it's slightly breaking out so i'm going to try that i don't know how i don't know how great of a choice that's going to be but i got it for christmas from my sister if you're watching this i love you sister <laughs> that was kind of awkward it's by dr jart i love dr jart face masks application of a mask I've ever seen in my life. Like this is way too far over. Whatever. I'm just I'm gonna leave it. 20 minute timer. I have five more minutes of this mask on so ignore me but I just took my laundry oh here it is just took my laundry out I made a TikTok but my summer Fridays went through went through the wash and dryer it was really warm and like obviously melted when it came up, but I think it stayed shut. I'm worried it got on my clothes. I went through the wash and the dryer. Like I didn't notice. I read the package and it said that I should have, like you know how I put this part on and then took the clear part off and then put this part on wrong. Yeah, to rinse this off with water. I should have done the skin before. 
hoping for a snow day tomorrow but that'll be in next week's vlog all right i think i'm gonna end off the video here i know like i haven't done much i feel like maybe i have more than i think i do the lighting is gonna be terrible because my overhead light of my room doesn't work it died the remote died and it takes like a random battery my class starts tomorrow well my history course starts tomorrow that's my first class and it's just like an introduction is the first class and i the the first like assignment or anything that's due is due on january 15th so like next week i'm trying to stay on top of things because um if you guys didn't know i was like i might have said this already i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself but i was a very big procrastinator in my last school i was in because it was asynchronous and there was no there's like suggested due dates but not real due date i'd like to be on top of my stuff i really want to order a few things from lululemon because i need to i want to order i love the arrow blue color so i might order like an outfit in the arrow blue color i said i was gonna finish i want this whole outfit if it's ever gonna focus i want this whole outfit so I have this shirt and the um, Wonder Trains in this blue color. And then I also have like, I'm in between these two bags for school because I'm going to need a book bag. This bag, is this even like good? Like, can you even see? This bag, um, one of my coworkers has and like I do really like it, but it just doesn't have the pockets. It's on sale. <laughs> I love a sale. But then this bag does have like the laptop pocket and it's like an actual backpack. Anyway, I realized that since I'm doing a lot of my schoolwork at work, I need a bag. I'm going to finish off this vlog now. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Pray that it is a snow day for me, please. I don't know why I'm losing my voice, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.